So, past three months since I found out the Golgo was poisoned, uh, I've kind of lost my mind. I can do more. But coming down here to the Traveling Buddha has really helped me regain myself, my center. It's uh, the vibration brings you to the state of mind that is maybe a different space, so different dimension. So can bring you to your higher self and the inside divine energy comes out to communicate, so brings you to the mass manifestation where you want to be. So, yeah, so it's a way of uh, self awareness and at the same time, self healing. Align your chakras, bounce off all the negativity. slowly just morphed into this. <laughs> I move my hot sauce. I use it for flavor. Like that. This one was neat because if you backlight it, there's tears of blood underneath. My light works. Is it work? I don't think it works. I burned out a while ago. This, this is just terrifying. Look at this. This is just a nightmare. I did this one last month. Um. You know, this guy with the ears and the devil. Um, this was made in blood and <laughs> uh, pastel. I did a series of uh, stereotyped cultures. This one's Finland. Cultures, I mean, stereotyped countries. So we got Finland, uh, Poland, that was a fun one. My hands are all messy. <clears throat> you want a Gatorade or anything? How are you? Hi. 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 It's like Rocky Cauliflower. Me and Joseph uh, talk sometimes, but not as much. I'm kind of in a shitty place, so I come here. People don't realize the power of sound. The sky chanters are based on that. So the first Golga invented something similar to a dream catcher, but it was a song catcher. It caught the song of the universe. Kind of special. Whoa. This is, uh, I call it the tank. I told Matthew when the Baxter fellow comes by, I got all, I got all my guns, I got my supplies, ammo for days. I'm ready Sunday. A Baxter. And a Baxter, he fucking knows. He can't fuck with us.
like I thought it would be. It's got a leaf in it too, so it's like a mojito. <laughs> Claudia, it's Fitzy. No. Can you... I just... Alright, I get it. I... Mm. I just need two seconds. Just... When's a good time to talk? I, I've been trying to get a whole... And Claudia won't talk to me. No one talks to me. This town fucking hates me. I haven't left here in I don't know how long. It's been months now. It's gotta be months by now. It has to be months by now. No one likes me though. I can't go. F I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't go anywhere. Like where am I supposed to go? There's nowhere to go. It's like the only comfort I get at this point in my life. That I just sit down here and I just wait for the boiler to kick on. It's like if the boiler kicks on, well, I know everything's going to keep going forward and it's regular and it's normal and everything's going to be fine. Everything's going to be fine. It's just I got to hear the boiler. Like I don't care if it sounds crazy. I got to hear the boiler. There's some days I just go out to my uncle's car, keys in hand, open the door, and I just breathe and I breathe and then I can't go anywhere. I never started up. I'm just sit there. I'm just breathing. It's the anxiety. It, it, the anxiety just coats you like honey and it just chokes you out and you can't think. It's just a constant metallic bile taste that you can't wash out. It fucks with everything. Everything. I told Matthew, I told Matthew, we found the cult. We can make our documentary. We can do whatever we want now. We, we don't even have to leave here. Like, that's the best part. We can do it all from here, but he doesn't want that. Matthew thinks, he thinks anyway, that these, they, they still, this fucking cult poses some sort of danger to other people. Maybe they do. I don't know. Maybe they do. They probably do. So, Joseph found out where the Sky Chainers are residing. Uh, it's kind of a little ways out, high security kind of place. It's going to take a little bit of work to get going. I really want Joseph to help me make the Sky Chainers documentary, but I need to confront Baxter. He's really not running the Sky Chainers the way he should. Baxter, he's just, he's perverting all the teachings. Just wrong. So I found out where the Sky Channers are stationed. I was going through some of Matthew's documents. If you don't mind, could you just not tell him though? Don't. He doesn't like people going through his shit. He left it here, so I mean, I don't care, but don't fucking tell him. Don't tell him. It wasn't even that hard. I just made some calls. I just called some other people, and I'm not leaving. I need to. It's, you know, fucking internet. I think that's my uncle upstairs. He's getting ready to go to Florida. He's kind of a snowbird. You guys got any plans for New Year's or? You might even come by. I'm just gonna be giving my low main on, son. I know it was Baxter. I know it was him. He got into the food supply. He poisoned the Golga. I know it. That son of a bitch. I mean, it, it, it's kind of my fault. I, I was in charge of the garden. So Junior knows about it. He said he's going to talk to the cops, but uh, the cops aren't going to do anything. They they just look at us as like a bunch of freaks. I don't know. They just don't care about us. What's up with this fucking line? People gotta eat. Thank you. I used to be a sweet and sour kind of guy, but man, this tangy barbecue. Oh! So, there's the Book of the Golga, written by our Golga himself. 
And then when Baxter took over, he was going to write his own book, he said. I didn't believe him. But he did. He wrote the whole damn book. So this is the back of the Days Inn where I hang out sometimes. I know what I have to do. I have to go back to the lake. My uncle found this upstate like a long time ago. Uh, I loved it when he first brought it home. I really did. But um, this absolutely terrifies me. I think that's why I love it, but I also hate it at the same time. I can't comfortably put it up on any wall.